When people think about dopamine, they likely think about reward signals, said Northwestern's Daniel Dombeck, who co-led the study. But when the dopamine neurons die, people have trouble with movement. That's what happens with Parkinson's disease, and it's been a confusing problem for the field. We found a subtype that are motor signaling without any reward response, and they sit right where dopamine neurons first die in Parkinson's disease. That's just another hint and clue that seems to suggest that there's some genetic subtype that's more susceptible to degradation over time as people age. This genetic subtype is correlated with acceleration, added Northwestern's Rajeshwar Awatramani, who co-led the study with Dombeck. Whenever the mouse accelerated, we saw activity, but in contrast we did not see activity in response to a rewarding stimulus. This goes against the dogma of what most people think these neurons should be doing. Not all dopamine neurons respond to rewards. That's a big change for the field. And now we found a signature for that dopamine neuron that does not show reward response. 